Hello! Good afternoon, everybody! Oh, I just could not wait to play this game again. Usually I wait for a couple days because, well, usually I got stuff going on, but today I don't have classes, so I get to play with you guys. I'm also going to sip some water real quick. Ah, delicious. Life-giving water. And there's a cat on my shoulders. All right. Let's get going. So. Hmm. There it is. I was going to say I can't... But Stanley hey. simply couldn't handle the pressure. What, what if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? What he just had never happened? been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. Ah, cat. But the one thing he knew for yeah. sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. What just happened? <laughs> I guess we're not supposed to wait in here. It would have been cool if they had actually made the time uh, go by faster. Okay, let's not linger in there. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Dancing! Woo! Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah. Okay, where am I going this time? I'm gonna turn all these off. Or play with them. Can I turn them on also? Hey! Huh. Oh, I thought the narrator did that. Can I still can't open these. Okay. Alright, so moving on. This office is so tacky, by the way. It's so, like, 60s or 70s or something, except for the pictures. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I can't remember if there were more options on the right or not. I guess we'll go left. Should we see what happens if we do exactly what the narrator tells us to? Ooh, bright. Yet there was not a single person here either. Yeah, we've Feeling a wave there. of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office Hoping he might find an answer there. All right, all right. Right, there's nothing in the broom closet. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Can we go anywhere else? Ooh, an executive bathroom. I want to I want to use it. Ah, can't go that way. Well, it's not the same person who worked uh, in the demo, because it's not as tidy. Those look even to you. Whatever. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked? Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Hey. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Oh, of course not. 
course that. Can I play the piano? I guess not. It sounds like I'm typing. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. No, Trying I'm, I'm not Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Nope, not at all. I don't even know where it, where it is. Oh, I guess I do. 2845. Ah, gee, I wonder what it... Is, is it... Nope, it's not that one. So is it one, two, three, four? Stanley simply be forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened <laughs> all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> uh, okay. Where's? Oh, there it is. Can I still type? Is it going to close on me? Oh. No, I guess not. Oh, I guess it's still registered, though. Bright lights! Oh, man, it's dark over here. Is that a wall? I guess so. It's very reddish dark wall. What a big button for an elevator. Oh, okay. Tra la 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 la. There's a cat in my lap. He's making my butt cheeks Descending go numb. deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, hey, the as gone. though he felt oh, more no, free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Maybe because he's this not question in that would not area. go unanswered for long. I'm going to surmise that it's probably because he didn't think about it because he wasn't in the sit settings in which uh, the environment in which the stimuli triggered this response in his brain because actually environment does Stanley play a walked key straight role. ahead through the large door that read mind control facility or escape I think I'm going to go with escape Although this passageway had the word escape written on it the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. <laughs> Can I go back? Wait, is that door... Oh, it's still open. He wants me to go back, but I'm gonna keep going forward. Ah! The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Anyway, I was gonna say I wonder what kind of shoes I'm wearing, because listening to them they At don't... At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yeah, I'm a brave guy. Brave. Brave and brave. Uh, the narrator didn't lie. Oh, what the hell? What's happening? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Oh, I can't Stanley get out of can't this. see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. Yeah. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his wait, 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 wait. life. Oh, shit. Wait, no, uh, really? I can't just jump out? Oh, shit. What? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, 
killing him instantly. Oh! Well, this is an interesting twist from the mod. I remember this actually in the mod, it was there, but... And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? It's a very white area. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Interesting. Where are we? I like how the text changed color for her. Nature paintings. Oh, okay. Stanley's computer. Office layout. Oh, hey! Okay, so... Alright, so this is the start, and of course we go this way. Can't go anywhere other than the path that it's laid out, so obviously it's kind of silly to try to quarter. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. These are the two doors. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was to the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development through the core layout remains... Oh, though? The core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Yeah. Kind of. It's a minuscule model. I love mini models. The two doors. The set of two doors open. Ah, oh, my ear itches, but my headphones are in the way. The two, um, the set of two doors uh, was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the f rest of the game emerged as an extension of it. An exploration of the contradic contradiction this room posed. It's very interesting, actually. Filing cabinets. That's not that interesting. This is just... It's just an office display. Button sounds. A selection of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Okay. I feel like we accomplished something. Ha! Ha! Solitaire! Office computers. Oh cool, I can still mess with them. Oh, it's credits! Alright, so these are all the people responsible for making this come true. This game. I like Kevin, Kevin Brighting. Okay. Now they got a good look of who the actual game was created by, and then these are the office. So they're all different. Okay. Now. There's a room over there. Let's go to Stanley's computer real quick. I feel like there might be something down there that we can do. I could be incredibly wrong. Yep, wrong. All right, now let's see, there are two, let's go right. Boss's office, screens from the development of the boss's office. Oh, okay, um, okay. <laughs> I like how they turned it into like a museum very and <laughs> thought I heard people play lounge I s okay I definitely hear somebody talking underground an early version of the underground portion of the game oh ah uh, okay 
I don't want to go there yet. Let's go up. It's a big painting. Oh, freedom ending. This was the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. Right, okay. What? What just popped out of there? Countdown desk. One of the desks from an early version of the countdown ending. Whoa. Oh, okay. What in the world? Monitor room elevator. For time, the elevator in the monitor room could could go up or down with freedom abor oh, above and count down below. We've been in this one. Players found it too difficult to remember what was up and what was down <laughs> and placed the two endings together and said, okay, whatever. This is the freedom ending as it existed in beta. Very lovely painting. Oh, I remember this. Okay. Countdown room, an early version of the countdown room. Oh, that's the exit. Okay. Uh, let's keep looking. Let's get all this out of the way. Game design mock-up. This is the level that William, the level designer, sent Davy, the writer, as a kind of audition piece. The strength of this level got William hired to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout from the, this mock-up is still in the game. Okay. Stanley's office. From the left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 2011, the second in March 2012, and the third in February th 2013. So this is the first one. Here's the second one. And the third one. There's not too much difference between that. Oh, this is kind of boring. I feel like it's necessary, though. The lounge. An early version of the lounge. Okay. Um, the office. Like, the show. Alright, um, narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these in further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of these emails. Okay, so these are, okay, emails to the narrator. It's interesting. The screenshots of the Stanley Parable HD Remix. More endings, fewer endings, more narrators, fewer narrators, more Stanley, less Stanley. Um, the point of the Stanley parable is to win. Am I going crazy? Maybe it isn't the same image. Was that clock there before? I don't remember. How do I go back? Can you check for me? The point of the Stanley parable is to lose. Lo oh, okay. That's just too much. Uh, green light. In September 2012, we submitted the Stanley Parable to Greenlight, Valve's process of approving games for Steam. The Greenlight page had not had only a series of cryptic photos, which were still enough to win the community's approval. Well, yeah. <laughs> I think this is the other side. What is this? It's just... Okay. Um... Okay. Alright, uh... Going back. Oh, I missed this. What the heck? Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. Okay. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. Uh, we realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey on, and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted, interpreted it, it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Okay, so, all right, that would have been, uh, would have been very interesting to see. 
This reminds me of something. Oh, we already did this. Did we do this? A cargo lift. Second version. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay. Um... Oh. Oh, that's what's happening. All right, what do we have here? Uh, this is, the game is now paused, begin the game again, resume the game, okay. <coughs> escape menu, escape menu. Oh, escape menu. Uh, <coughs> for a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. All right, unfortunately, very few players realized this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. I didn't know that. <coughs> Sorry, my voice. <coughs> Zending. The screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as the Zending, which was eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Zending. Okay. Um, Zending lovers. Uh, okay, so now this one. Alright. So the Zending must have been something big, big deal. How do we get in here? Oh. Um, wait. Where did we come from? We ran four major teaser trailers over the course of the... Uh, this is the first one. Well, it's not... Oh. kind of creepy actually. Anybody else think that maybe that sometimes storage areas are kind of creepy? Like worker school storage? Like this? <laughs> Alright that's enough of that. I think we can watch them all on uh, YouTube or Steam. We came from here right? Yeah. So what is this? Meeting room. All right, um... Wait, let's go... I think I'm kind of lost. We went through there, right? Yeah, that was the trailers. Um, okay. I think that the only real place left to go is over here. I'm sorry if I missed something that somebody wanted to see. But I don't want to see it right now. I'm sorry. I, I already read that. What is this? Why is it dark in here? Sorry, I didn't talk there. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it just doesn't come out. That's where I heard voices. All right, let's go. So this is interesting. I wonder if this is an Easter egg. I mean, it's not like it's hard to get to though. All you do is go through escape. Uh, this way. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. 
Are we talking about the narrator and Stanley? Oh, I thought I could go behind it. Oh! Can you see? No. Can you see how much they need one another? Oh. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. I see darkness. Oh, stretch! <sighs> Listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape what? and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever Wanna try it? Do, choose it. Should we try? Wait. What'd she say? She say press quit? Oh, that... Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, let's just breeze through it. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So that was interesting. I guess we should have just let it play out. I think she just gets cut off. Yet when we there die. was not a single person here either. Ah. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hope coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his whee! boss's office. Ah, whee! Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Uh, what was it? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off huh? the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stan Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo was 2845, it would be another story entirely. But no, no. I think they this got is that what he was to do instead. Wait a second. Have we been here? Yeah, we Stanley have. walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Let's try this again. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Oop. I got bumped by something invisible. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. But Stanley isn't too slow. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I just want to see what happens if I don't click what she said to click. Because obviously that didn't do anything. Ow. Alright, let's let him talk. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There was Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. 
and mingled together with metal. The metal Stanley. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Oh, not this way. I could use a blueberry muffin right now. Mm, yum. All right, let's uh, try this again. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. That was good timing. Can you see? No. Can you see how much they need one another? Oh, cat. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Can you still hear me? I think I might have listen to pulled me. my cord. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time Oh. Ouch. Um. Oh, what the hell? Well, that was entirely pointless. Cat, stop chewing on the cord. Uh. Right. Okay. Uh, let's let's go the correct path this time. Actually, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, if you liked watching this, please like and favorite and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.